I'm Laura Ritchie. I'm a curator and arts organizer in Durham, North Carolina. And I'm also a recent graduate of the Master of Arts and Liberal Studies program at Duke University. It's my pleasure to introduce my master's project titled Durham, North Carolina, a 21st century case study on gentrification, artists, and the creative economy. Durham, like so many American cities, is changing quickly. In the last 20 years, the city's population has increased by 45%, and real estate market trends follow a similar pattern, with property values more than doubling in some areas in a span of less than five years. I've spent the last decade working with artist communities here in Durham, and my master's project investigates the ways in which the arts impact and are impacted by rapidly developing urban areas. This investigation is shaped by three key points. First, arts and culture play a critical role in shaping the character of a city. This sector is the heartbeat of a place. It is what draws us to and keeps us in the cities in which we choose to live. Second, artists need access to sustainable sources of funding and affordable space in which to create and share their work. And last, the arts are increasingly being leveraged to attract new populations to urban areas that have been previously deemed undesirable for development. The transformation of a place following the locating patterns of artists is not new, but the intentional fabrication of this artistic ethos in the absence of, or even running counter to, the actual artist-led projects in an area, this is a 21st century phenomenon. And this type of commodification has a real impact on shaping the future of a community. Increasingly, the arts are being weaponized in the process of gentrification, whereby public art, creative placemaking projects, and the creation of arts districts can actually lead to art washing, a type of cultural erasure that ultimately accelerates the rate at which city residents and artists are displaced from an area. In my paper, I interrogate current methods for defining and measuring the creative economy in order to better understand the specific ways in which Durham's art ecosystem has been impacted by this type of urban economic development strategy. I found that arts-focused economic research that relies on isolated sets of industry or occupational data falls short and actually erases the distinctive social, cultural, and economic contributions of artists, particularly when employed in urban planning and arts advocacy initiatives. So instead, I suggest a new, more context-specific methodology that accounts for the unique network characteristics of the arts ecosystem at the local level. Using this method, I found that even though Durham has been recently ranked as the top creative class metro in the country, almost half of Durham's independent arts venues have closed or relocated outside of the downtown core in the last 10 years. I then placed that finding within the context of Durham's cultural master plan, which was adopted in 2004 and expired at the close of 2019. I conclude with a series of recommendations for the city's cultural workers and policymakers as we enter a new decade with ever rising property values and a renewed charge to protect, cultivate, and sustain the arts in Durham.